Brothers, hey, um, calling this, uh, I'm bringing back my floss. It was a, it was a daily, um, meant to be spiritual, um, video, I guess, talk to myself, kind of, but in an open forum. I did this with a man from, uh, Warrior Week 58. Fuck it, we're doing a, you know, kingdom or, or, uh, and uh, give you guys a little taste of it and you know, block me from your feet if it gets annoying. The, um, so I call this one the floss, the why versus the die. Uh, yeah, Dan, Dan, I, I got this, you know, shout out. Yes, I, I, I have a, an incredible support group, um, an incredible support group. It's, it's, and, and, and I want you to know, uh, trust me, what I'm dealing with is not lost on me. I understand everything. You know, there, there's a few things I may not, but for the someone not in a medical field, I am very aware of what I'm up against. Uh, I know the mortality rate going through traditional medicine. It ain't fucking good, buddy. It ain't fucking good. So that's why I'm going out and trying some other things like fasting. So, you know, number one, I appreciate your concern. I don't want to take that any other way than I do appreciate it. I just want you to know that I understand the mortality rate somebody with a fucking brain tumor is is uh, it's pretty sobering but I've maintained a fuck you mentality since day one and a absolutely positive mindset here because I need to I absolutely need to um, I believe your mindset is part of uh, how you heal and you know, there's people around me who are scared. They don't know what to fucking say to me because they're like, oh, God, this guy's got a fucking tumor and it's cancerous and this goes to uh, type 4, or stage 4, or level 4, whatever 4 you want to call it, glioblastoma. You know, you're really fucked. So that's like 12 to 15 months. So however long it takes to get there, add 12 to 15 months, and that's what you get whether or not they do surgery or not. And that's the thing they don't tell you. And I've done massive amounts of research talk to numerous people. So what I'm dealing with is this level two, type two glioma, goes to level three, and then level four is when it uh, basically uh, becomes malignant, starts its own blood, pulling blood from the system. Right now it's just kind of hanging out there, a big fucking blob, small fist size, think of a baby fist. And, you know, a big tumor by all accounting in your brain, because there's not a lot of room up there. So the, um, so what I've done is I've gone out and looked at different options and one of them is the metabolic approach to cancer and I highly recommend anybody here who is watching do your research on that. Thomas Seyfried is one of the, the big advocates for this. Um, he's just one, start with him and you'll be able to follow, uh, get in the rabbit hole and follow it wherever you need to go. One out of two men will develop um, you know, cancer in their life. And, and trust me, we all have it. Cancer is just mutated cells, guys. We have cell mutations every day. The, the thing is our immune system usually cleans them up. Um, it becomes runaway when they figure out how to mask themselves. And then that's when they fucking grow into like this other bullshit. So into tumors and stuff. They need about a billion, a billion, b, b, b as in billion cells before it, to make it the size of a, like a fucking pinhead or or pen, the, the point of a pen. So that's when they can actually identify that you have it. So keep that in mind. Um, so to take what I say seriously, I'm looking at metabolic approach, which includes fasting. I fasted for about eight days, had a huge feed of fat and it was awesome. And then uh, I'm on a three day 72 right now. We call it a 48 and 72 and we'll see how I feel. Well, for a walk run, I like to walk a little bit during the run so I can do videos and uh, record stuff, but so um, uh, there's other there's other solutions. Um, uh, cannabis oil, not not CBD. CBD is a is, a, is um, I want to say uh, it's it's an isolate. Okay, it's like one part of like 27. I'm not an expert on that yet. I was introduced to that. You know, Manny Goldman, you can uh, jump in if you want. But um, there's uh, there's drugs that are off patent that have been shown to uh, fight cancer, attack cancer at its root. Right now, the metabolic approach, the fasting is trying to starve the cancer of glucose. That's what they 
they, the cancer likes to use for fuel because um, cancer cells are very, very inefficient. Their mitochondria have, have been damaged, so it ta they have to burn about 30%, 20, I'll say 20% more energy uh, through this process called fermentation. It's a non-oxidative process. So I don't want to get too far in the weeds here, but I'm just telling you guys, um, there's other alternatives besides poisoning yourself with chemo and radiation um, and getting your skull cracked. You know, do yourself a favor, look into fasting. There's so many medical benefits to it. And this whole keto thing, you think it might be a, um, it's a fad to some people, because some people aren't really practicing keto, but look into it. There's actually something for, uh, they use to treat dog parasites that a guy claims he cured his brain cancer with. He had a, he had a level four uh, glioblastoma, which is the widow maker. So, Anyway, um, check that out, Eric. Good to see you. The, um, the other thing is, you know, there's, there's garlic and all kinds of other things. So I don't mean to go off about the cancer, but my, my point, I guess, is that, you know, it's the, uh, it's the why versus the die. And I've been fortunate enough, been given a chance to fight this thing. And I'm going to fight it with everything I have. And it's going to be a great fucking story. Win or lose, baby. It's going to be a great motherfucking story gonna be one worth reading worth watching I'm videotaping it every day what I'm doing what I'm feeling um, I'm gonna put that into a mini documentary and uh, we'll see it's gonna be awesome either way so yeah I have a, I have a very positive mindset because what the fuck not what's being bitter and depressed gonna do like how does that help there's not one thing in life that ever helps if you can point out to one thing I mean maybe divorce if you want to get divorced maybe that helps you get divorced I mean so I guess there's one thing uh, if you want everybody to hate you, yeah, that's another thing. But think of something positive in your life that being bitter and and sad and feeling sorry for yourself helps. Please, I challenge everybody. Tell me what, what that is, you know, and I will fucking start doing it. I'll make transition. So uh, appreciate all the support, brothers. Love you guys. Um, you know, many of you have never met me except on these videos. And uh, I'll keep you posted if you want to keep hearing about it. I, I am doing private videos every day. And... Um, not really Facebook official on any of this stuff. Like a lot of, you know, people know here, my close friends and family. And then I guarantee you guys know way more about what's going on than fucking most people that uh, are even like living next door to me probably. All right, gotta go. Love you guys.